Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWaveTestCast.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry. Today is Wednesday, October 27. The time is around 1 a.m. GMT. Now today we're going to be updating the chart of the NASDAQ. This is a 60 minutes chart here. So what we have here, as you can see, we got a rally that is uh, proposed to be in a five waves. One, two, three, four, five, which ended with three in the black degree here. Okay, so what that means then is as long as the pullback stays above one four four twenty four, then we could see one more push to the upside still uh, for the Nasdaq. All right. Now, if this is a wave four, that means uh, ideally this pullback is gonna reach at least twenty three point six. 38.2 percent retracement right here before it extends higher again now this is not bearish guys a lot of people misunderstand when we are showing like this and then they think it is like oh it's going to pull back therefore I should sell it right yeah it is not uh, because the right side is to the upside so the right side is bullish therefore we do like the upside not the downside and we do like to see for the upside and in case it does a pullback then we like uh, more upside after a three ways pullback so that's what we usually say three seven eleven swing pullback and then higher again we do like uh, the the bullish side now let's uh, zoom out give you an idea in the larger degree let me erase uh, all these labels now if we go to let's say to the four hour okay so what we're gonna try to do now is we're gonna be trying to uh, put down some of this label here okay so we got three at the top which is this one and then we got two at 14424 right 14 424 is uh let me see where it is all right so it should be it should be here right that is your with two right and then okay based on this then that means this is your with one here right this is your with one and um and then if you want to see in the subdivision here then this is your one two three four five right here one two three four five all right so what we are looking at then is really a cycle which started from uh, october 4 or october 5 from here we are looking for a five waves up in the Nasdaq and then as long as the pullback therefore stays above this we still can see one more push higher to finish a five ways up uh, from October 5th now let's take a look at the daily time frame now we can see that Nasdaq breaks to new high all-time high so that suggests the bulls remain in control right the bulls remain in control and we like the upside uh, going with the trend right and any pullback should find support in 3711 swing now you can notice here that we got the previous all-time high was on september right here right september 7 now we can see over here that um the pullback is clearly in three swing which is corrective and perfect hundred percent extension right perfect hundred percent extension in three swing so if anybody you know managed to buy this in three like I said three seven eleven swing with the trend then already in a very good profit right now now this is a three swing right finish the correction and we break the new high above the previous peak confirming the next leg higher has started 
right? And this cycle can still extend one more time before we finish E5 waves, right? That's basically what this is really saying right here, right? And then from there, we can get a pullback a larger pullback to correct this entire five waves and then from there likely extend higher again or else I mean this five waves could be finishing up even a larger degree structure but you know but doubt it I mean now we're not going to be looking at the larger degree here but you go with the trend in instead of speculating you know oh this is a major top this is it the final move then you open up extension higher for now that this is actually a doesn't I mean even if you believe this is you know some kind of with five from whatever you know from pick pick any low you want on the weekly then uh, this move here uh, could be just one or five right could be ending uh, one or five so Going back here, I think the main idea is pull back from this point on should continue to find buyers in 3711 swing and then extend higher. Now, shorter cycle, of course, we can just go down directly from here. Uh, and if so, you just easily place two here and then we can start the wave three already. So for now, th I mean, this, this is insignificant. It's like a short term movement, very ins insignificant. So the idea is we could be seeing a pullback and the pullback should continue to find buyers that's the idea all right so looking for one more like higher and then from there we can get a bigger pullback again but then still remain supported overall as we break the new high in the nasdaq uh, so we continue to like uh, buying the dips overall we like the upside in 3711 swing all right so that's the update for today and as always if you want to check our service uh, we have 14 days trial the link is provided in the description of the video i'll see you all again next time have a nice day everyone